mother. I'm beautiful. Poor baby got skunked. These f***ing skunks, they're out of here. Can you say gay rights? Gay rights. Fuck. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I still don't have an answer, so yes, there's... We're going to the beach. I'm actually seeing my nephew and my not sister-in-law anymore, but she's still family. My nephew Luca, you guys met him forever ago in like Disney vlogs. I took him to Disney with Joey. He's visited every year, but since COVID, he hasn't been here. How do I look actually? Cause I got ready in like two minutes. Not bad. Not bad for having two kids in the back of the car, huh? Storm, yeah. Monty, we're going to the beach. So I'm picking them up. I'm taking them to Malibu Beach. We're gonna do sunset, let the dogs run. Cause Luca, my nephew has a weird affinity and affection for Storm. Nobody likes Storm. You guys don't even like Storm. I don't like Storm. No, I'm kidding. I love Storm, but he has loved Storm since he met him. And he's like, can I see Storm? Can I see Storm? Please, can I see Storm? So I brought Storm, I brought Monty. We're gonna j run, jump for joy enjoy ourselves, walk the beach, then we're gonna go get uh, fish tacos at the Real Inn. That's a Mr. Parade exclusive date night. If we ever hang out, I will take you guys there. It's fabulous. And then they're heading out of town tomorrow. They came to visit my mom, actually. They stayed with her and then they all went to Lake Tahoe, but I couldn't go because I have work stuff going on. So we're doing this and it'll be cute. So it'll be nice to see him. I haven't seen him in like two years and he's like a man. I think he's 13 now, which is crazy. I remember when I was 13 and I was short five foot two. My nickname was Pumpkin Tits. Thank you, Cairo Prisco, for giving me that nickname. I wonder where Cairo is now. He was a little fucker in high school. We were friends too, but he called me Pumpkin Tits and clearly over 15 years later, that has uh, stuck with me. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the beach. Love ya. Also, if you're not subscribed, can you guys please subscribe? I really wanna hit half a million this year. It's time, it is time. Hit subscribe and hit that notification bell because I have new vlogs every single Wednesday. She's taking a selfie again. This is where I get it from. She's delusional. I'm beautiful. Oh I'm my god. Did you guys miss my mom or not? I am the queen. Can you see where I get it from? She's sick. She's sick. <laughs> yes. Wow, she's so fast. Come on, Monty, bring it back. Say hi to everybody. Your brows hi, look everybody. good. You guys know my mom, Maria, of course. You look stunning. Always. What are you drinking? Hey, A beer? Are you, are you getting fucked? Up. Are you gonna be topless by the end of the night at the bars and at the gay bars in Reno? Yes, you want me to start? Are you an LGBT ally? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. We love that. We love the gays. We love the do you gays believe in, and the lesbians. Do you believe in gay rights or no? Absolutely. Can you say gay rights? Gay rights. That's it. All right, I don't need you to shake the camera. I know I'm you're a little, nothing. you have a little dimension, a little. Oh. You guys, you. I know my mom's, um, we're here to surprise her. She's going to the nursing home next week. She's moving in. This kid is driving me insane. I'm not going nowhere yeah, um, and never go. She you will have to chain me to go no, anywhere. No, she literally said I can't put her in a nursing home, but I can put her in a harness and a leash in the backyard. Yes, that's true. I said that. Like chained up. I can do the yard. And you did and that to grass. me when I was a kid. Absolutely. So when I was a baby, she but, put you know, me in a harness on a on a dog run because she was new to America thinking like that's a that's okay and but, I had a fabulous time but that was safety first I yeah. didn't want you to get lost yeah. while I was studying near you yeah so for if nursing, my child protective was, services if you're watching I need to check in you guys right see now. how big he's gotten no not crazy this is my son I had him when I was 16 <laughs> it's my daughter he's my daughter oh we love that all right I got the same as always tacos I've got tacos with mashed potatoes and you didn't even wait for me to sit down before you engorged yourself. I'm so hungry that I can't, I don't care. Wow. Skylar got tacos. Are they good? Oh yeah, me Yeah, too. they're good. <laughs> Luca got salmon. Is it good? Yeah, we didn't wait for you. That's fine. And you didn't even say a prayer. I said it in my mind. <laughs> Stunning. I just got home. Storm is sleeping over at my mom's house because my nephew Luca is staying there with his mom for the night. And by habit, I let Monty out and the poor baby got skunked. Just two weeks ago it happened to Storm and now it happened to her, but I don't think it happened as bad. <sighs> the house 
It smells so bad and I just got my new couch. But more importantly, this little angel baby. She doesn't know what's going on. I think it's the same one that got Storm because it doesn't seem as pungent, but honey has no idea what's going on. And just my luck, I'm out of baking soda. But I do have the soap, so we're gonna go and put a skunky car, stunky, skunky dog in my car. And we're gonna go get baking soda. And it's 11.30 at night, of course, so everything's gonna be closed. Isn't that lovely? The lesson here is I don't care. These f***ing skunks, they're out of here. Get out of my yard. I'm so sorry, baby. You can't come inside. We're gonna give you the bath, honey. I'm gonna f***ing lose it, you guys. This grocery store locks up the medical medicine aisle at 11 o'clock. It's 11.30 and I need hydrogen peroxide and they think I'm gonna create a bomb or something and I can't get it. Look, look, literally look, there's more security here than on Twitter. I'm so sick of this bullshit. It's funny, they lock up the entire aisle that has medicine, feminine hygiene products, but they're still selling alcohol to people who are visibly drunk in the grocery store, the woman in front of me was buying a handle of vodka, but you can't buy cough drops. Maybe they should put that security guard that's at the exit doing nothing, have it in the health and wellness area. Am I having a Karen moment? I don't think this is a Karen moment. I think this is a, I'm just very irritated with this situation. So I'm gonna go to CVS. Hopefully they don't lock up their hydrogen peroxide, but you know what? Maybe they do. Maybe they sell vodka. Maybe they give away free shots of vodka to people. Got the baking soda, got the hydrogen peroxide. CPS had the hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide. And as I was leaving, the attendant at the door says, there must be a skunk around here or something outside. And I just start manically laughing. You can't make this up. You just can't. We're gonna make this, I'm gonna give her a bath. I'll see you guys in a second. Monty baby girl, what happened to you? We're back in the tub, you stupid <laughs> All right, sit down. Nope, 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 nope. We've got our concoction here. We didn't get her wet, but I did wipe off any residue on her face. And now I'm gonna go in with the concoction, get it all over her body, let it get nice and soaked in there for 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna rinse her. Monty, you're all clean, but you cannot come up on the bed. Oh, you can't. Get off the bed. Get off the bed. Oh, you crazy. All right, I'm playing toss with Monty. You want this? This is her little hedgy. It's the next day. Can we talk? I'm going on another date. And I don't even want to go. Honestly, I don't even like this guy. But I am going just to make sure that he's not funny. I don't know how to explain it, but sometimes when you're with people, I feel like they don't show their full authentic selves. I mentioned this in a vlog previously. Unless you're on the sort of date where you're doing things, like you go to a concert, or you go, to a food tasting or I don't know, an activity. But this one date I went on was just like dinner and I didn't laugh once. However, he's been bothering me incessantly, which I mean, who wouldn't? Yeah, I'm going on another date with him. We'll see what he's like. Honestly, I don't even care. I'm wearing jeans and I don't wanna wear jeans. I wanted to wear linen pants or something a little more chill, but I'm wearing jeans and I'm late. But the skin, skinning, not even wearing any makeup, don't care. Just brushed my brows and I put on a little bit of the Jones Road Golden Hour Miracle Bomb. And I'm letting Monty go to the bathroom right now. The skunkation from last night, she's better, but she, I think she still has a little bit in her nose. But yeah, I'm having a chill day. I don't even know what's going on tomorrow, but I'll let you guys know how the day goes. All right, bye. Oh, should I show you my outfit? Okay, I'll show you my outfit. Oh, it's so dark in here and there's wax on this mirror that I just got, it's an antique mirror. Made well shirt I've worn before, white tank top, Abercrombie jeans, little chain from Desea, and my Burks. Casual, cool, I cuff the sleeves. That's the vibe. JK, switch the sneakers, more comfortable. I'll maybe cuff these a little bit, I'm not wearing socks. I'm a size 11, I love these Reeboks, I've been wearing them for a while. I'll link those down below like I had before. Monty girl, you being a good girl? You wimpy? You're not gonna go to the bathroom? And I'll see you in exactly two hours, cause that's the timeline. Hey, get off the couch, off the couch! 10 miles left on the tank. Will I make it? The Sagittarius is 
jumping. Okay, can we talk? I'm home, I did my skincare. You guys, what is the general consensus? What is the 411? What is the hot gossip? I need the studio audience to chime in. If somebody asks you on a date, do they pay or do you pay? Or do you split it? For me, my understanding is, at least when I've asked somebody on a date, I will always take the bill. I will not expect them to go halvesies. I will not even like wait for them to put their car down. My card is immediately down. Then the next time, maybe we split, maybe they take it, kind of depends. For me, the way I was brought up, if you ask somebody on a date, that's your idea. You created the initiation, but I'm curious what it's like for women as well. Like I'm still learning all this like etiquette with like the dating and the dinner stuff. But anyways, we split it, he did not pay thought he should have but whatever i maybe i'm being no you know what i'm gonna stick with you know that's my that's my bar that's where the bar is there will not be a third date i had a great time with myself restaurant was great food was great it was a cute place but he just didn't make me laugh and his entire personality was work and he was just name dropping the entire time and it was just like not my thing and he had like cartier bracelets and like rings on and i'm like Mm, you're trying way too hard. I actually called him out. I'm like, oh, it looks like you put on every piece of jewelry in your in your jewelry box. And he was like, oh, I was being play playful, of course. But we did have good conversation. But honestly, I just like wasn't feeling like the vibe or the spark. Also, he had killer eyes. I am always looking out for the killer. And there was something, you know, when you look at somebody and there's like a little screw loose, there was something there. Handsome guy, but the killer. He texted me saying he had a great time and wanted to go out again. I'm like, eh. I don't know how to respond, but whatever. Like I said, it's just more experience. I do like talking. I like getting to know people, so whatever. I'm gonna head to bed and Monty's curled up by my feet right now. She's doing great after her skunk situation. She's much better. Also, a lot of you guys were asking why she got sprayed and I live in the hills. The coyotes and the skunks come down and use the side of my house to essentially have like a block party in my neighborhood. They, it's like an access way to all the other houses and trash barrels or whatever they do. They frolic at night. So I've got to put like humane traps or some sort of like things to scare them. Maybe lights or like solar noises or something. I'm not sure. If you guys any, have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. All right. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Sleep well. You're a sweet girl. Are you going to say good night to everyone? Good morning guys, it's the next morning. Look at my roses. They're starting to bloom, how gorgeous. These chocolate roses are so gorgeous. Pretty they are. Antique roses actually. Look at this. Are you on the new couch and you're not supposed to be Monty? Because Monty's filling out. He's getting a little thick. Not thick, just no longer that puppy. Awkward puppy. Oh, yeah, pretty girl. My little skunky girl. Yeah, get your baby. Get your baby. All right, it's a little bit later. Today's project, we're getting rid of the skunks. They're gonna die. They're not gonna die. I'm just trying to scare them away for now because I don't really, I'm not gonna trap them. That's a little spooky, but I did find these things on Amazon to hopefully deter them because I don't want to spend money and put a fence in my backyard. Let me show you what I got. So, did these little, Things. This is the brand, Lubatis Ultrasonic Animal Repeller. They're solar powered. You let them charge up. They have these little sticks and you put them on the edge of your property. I'm gonna install these and I did get a few other things as well. And I think a light flashes at night. Hopefully these work. If you guys have any recommendations, please comment down below. But I got four of these to put on the perimeter of the backyard. I also got this stuff, repels all, uh, all the critters that are threats to me and my family. Lasts up to two months, we'll see if this works. And this is an all natural animal repellent. This is a liquid. So I think I'm gonna go with the other two first and then see if those work. Maybe I'll put this in the front yard, I don't know. I feel like anything with liquid that's natural is not gonna really work. So we'll, we'll wait on this guy. But for now we're gonna do this. It repels all and this stuff. So fingers crossed. As you guys can see, this is my backyard. Well, this is the hill behind my backyard. It goes all the way up. This is where they come down. They come down through here. Coyotes come down through here. So I stalled them behind these big lavender plants. So you can't really see them all on the perimeter. And then I did this all around as well. So hopefully 
this deters them. So I'm just in the yard, I just got ready. I'm heading to a friend's house for dinner and instead of bringing a bottle of wine, because I'm not any good at picking wine, honestly, I, I just don't know. It's either champagne or flowers. I decided to bring a potted plant. So I bought some rosemary and I potted it in this really cute pot from Home Depot. This was $5 at Home Depot. The plant was eight and I had the soil and I thought this would be cute for their little summer garden. I put a little ribbon around it. So in case you don't know how to pick wine, get something that'll be green. They can put on their patio. They can use when they're cooking. So cute. Hey guys, it is uh, the next day. Actually, I have a mustache. I don't know if I had it. Did I have a mustache in, mu in the last clip? Anyways, this is the way it's supposed to look. The facial hair grew in a little bit. What am I doing? I'm running some errands right now. I actually just went to Home Goods. I got the cutest. It's a faux vintage vase, but I love this style. It was $19, originally $34.99, but I do love the style. I have a few vases, and I know this is a knockoff, but I'm not gonna pay an arm and a leg for the original st style. But right now I'm getting a canvas piece framed. My friend Joan over at the Salt Air Farmhouse makes the most incredible canvases. So she actually takes vintage canvas drop cloths and embroiders them with different sayings like home sweet home, eat, pray, love, uh, good vibes. Like her stuff is so incredible and so, it's just so different, I love it. And it just makes your home feel like home. But she actually found this drop cloth, I believe it's from the 1920s or 1940s. And before I even lived where I do now, so I live in an area now called Hollywood Land, which is where the Hollywood sign is. So if you guys don't know, the Hollywood sign used to actually say Hollywood Land. And it was actually promotion for a realty company called the Hollywood Land Realty Company, which is still in my neighborhood today. So it was this area that was created, it was super exclusive, it was built around the 1920s and it was supposed to be a gated community for celebrities, actors, etc. It was just like the upper echelon of Hollywood when it, Hollywood began around then in the 20s. Unfortunately, it never really became that, but it did become a community and it's very old school Hollywood. There's so much charm, very, very old homes, beautiful like estates. It's a really, it's a mix. I really love my neighborhood. It's incredible. We have a little cafe there. We have a dry cleaner, an antique shop. We have a little place called The Market. And she made me this art piece three years ago Go after my breakup and it says Hollywood land in these beautiful felt letters as you can see here Hollywood land has all this beautiful texture it has all this vintage paint still on there and it's huge I'm, and I'm obsessed it's so beautiful but normally I would hang this but I really want to get it framed for my living room because my living room is a little more structured and it whereas my last place was very like kind of boho chic I just think it would look really nice with a bl simple black flame around it flame frame no glass or anything just like simple i just want to hang it and have it structured since it's so big i'm gonna have it on the wall so that episode of unmask my nest will be coming out in two weeks i believe so stay tuned for that i believe it's second weekend in may but if you guys have not tuned in yet i actually uploaded on sunday the first episode of season three of unmask my nest and is the outdoor extreme makeover. I'm so proud of it. It turned out beautiful and I would really appreciate the extra love on that video if you guys have not seen it yet. But I'm gonna go drop this off and I'll see you guys in a minute. You guys, I have kidnapped my ex-boyfriend's dog. I sure have. If you guys are new to the channel, so Monty, my golden retriever, had puppies in November and they all went to incredible homes, a lot of them with friends and in the LA area. Two went to the East Coast, but one of them stayed very close to home and lives with Joey, my ex-boyfriend of six and a half years. Hunter, are you ready? Oh, there you go. Be nice to her. <gasps> oh. Huck! Siblings! Oh my gosh, he is much bigger. <laughs> so good honey you're a little nervous she's very very sensitive just like how your mommy was when your mommy was a baby huh huck is a crazy boy but he's sweet you did so good this is her first time really hanging out and playing with a dog her age yeah that's a boy a hormonal boy your sweet girl a little later we're at dinner at the fatty accomplice i'm not panning to anybody because i don't want anybody to be perceived as a heavy set. <laughs> we have Gabriel here with the fat ass. No, show us that fat ass. We've got Manny, come on. 
with a fat ass. Oh, the makeup is make. Look into the light. Mother. <laughs> and Zayed Gadura. <laughs> a man Wait, of no words. <laughs> yeah, I'm a woman of accents. You, you, are, you are a woman yeah. of accents. Yeah. Okay. See? I have. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'm well. keeping this in the vlog because guess what? I'm an actor and I do accents. So deal with it. If you don't like it, don't watch. Okay, we have gorgeous vegetables. This rice, you guys, is literally Fried rice. What is this one? Actually, I'm not sure. The noodles. Oh, the noodles. That's a noodle. And then we have shaking beef, kung pao chicken, and some fabulous drinks. So we're just having our little family dinner. You guys, it's the next day. I've been in bed all day long. I have the worst sinus infection ever. If you guys have never had a sinus infection or something, I hope you never do. I had it once years ago on a flight from Australia back to LA but I literally couldn't do anything. There was no medication. So I, I was like crying. I was in so much pain. So at least now I have medication, but I, I still like had no idea what was going on. Had a fever last night. My body was like hot and then I was cold and then it was just so bad. I got some medication. It's awful. I like can't move. I'm, I'm in so much pain. The only thing that helps is like taking hot showers and like steam and stuff. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am gonna hopefully get better by tomorrow because I'm not trying to be in bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this week and are enjoying the weekly vlogs. And if you guys have not watched yet, episode one, season three of Unmess was uploaded over the weekend on Sunday. So please go watch that video, give it a like, show it some love, leave a comment. Um, worked really hard on it and I would love for you guys to see it. Yeah, that's it for today's video. Make sure to leave things better than how you found them. I love you so much. I'll see you next Wednesday with a new vlog and Sunday with a new video. All right, love you so much. Bye.